three, four practices now. What have you seen out of your guys? And why a lot of recall, and that's been good. You know, last year we were getting guys lined up and trying to get them to understand this or that. Now they're understanding the intricacies of the offense, why we're calling what we're calling. They're able to tell you what the offensive line has, what the running back has, and before it's probably just the quarterbacks would have been able to do that. So, and there's power and knowledge. So they, when they understand what the big picture of the play is, it's easier for them to execute. Um, and it also gives us feedback. I mean, we got guys coming off the field and saying, hey, coach, the safety's rolling down right here. We need to run this. Look, the linebacker was wide this time, coach. We need to run that. So that's been really good to see. And uh, it, it, it helps you as a coach to, to build confidence. And when you watch on tape and they're saying what they you know, saw and it, and it matches what's on tape. So that's been really good. So that's been the biggest improvement. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is develop some depth so we don't play with just two or three guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get that done. And the good thing is they've all been able to move around. So far this spring, there's been four or five guys that have all played different positions already. And, uh, you know, that's been really good. Um, well, he's not the number one guy. But he's responding well to the competition. Yeah, yeah I mean, he wants, to, he wants to be the number one guy. So, um, you know, we, 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 have, we don't have a depth chart set now. But when we go out, he goes out first. And Ontario goes out second. But, uh, you know, he's, he's comfortable there. He's getting more comfortable every day. It's just a, in this offense, it's just a matter of getting comfortable with the tempo and everything because everything is expedited because we go so fast. The whole thought process is expedited because we go so fast. So it'll take about two weeks to really for him to get comfortable there. Uh, and then once he gets, gets comfortable, then you can see, you know, then we'll be able to see the talents that, that, he, that God has given him. Does it help that he was on the field as much as he was last year to get used to that tempo? Oh yeah, no, no question. Now, he played some. He played some tailback last year, you know, for us. So it's not foreign. This offense is not foreign to him, but it's still you, you still need the uh, the reps in the offense, and, uh, and he's getting he's getting the, the reps that's for sure. You know, he, he still needs to learn how to play running back. You know, in this league because he he's so fast, he, he wants to east and west. So this, the emphasis for him this. Uh, the spring is to get north and south, you know, to get vertical with, with the football. But uh, he came here, he may have been 160, maybe. So he's gained 15 pounds in a year. And, uh, you know, we'd like for him to get about 10 more between now and September if he could. But, but uh, he's working hard. And, uh, you know, for him, it's his health. If he's healthy, he can help us. If he's not, he's a detriment, you know, to us offensively. So. I think that I think it all goes hand in hand. He gains some weight, gets stronger. I think uh, he's more apt to be to be healthy. It'll be about two weeks before I can make a good assessment on the, on the guys. But we have the talent, so that's a good start.